Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. In 2023, this tutorial will show you Shopify users how to integrate Modelists with Shopify Store, giving you access to a diverse of arrays to dropship products, maximizing your product catalogs and enhance your Shopify Store's offerings. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, guys, obviously the first thing to do is to head up to modelist.co. Then, the next thing is to create an account, but we are not going to do that yet. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is to click on App Integrations, and here you will find all the apps that you could connect Modelist into it. So in case you wanted to connect it to Wix, you can click here, Shopify here, Alibaba here. For our video, we have to go with Shopify, so we're going to click on this button. I have made other videos for Wix and Alibaba, you can check them out later on after this video. Now, here it is, uh, Modelist with Shopify. Now, there is two ways actually to connect them together. Well, the first way, which is by clicking on this button on Modelist, and then the second way by clicking and searching for Shopify, and Go into your Shopify store as you can see here, click on log in and log into your Shopify store by clicking on your Gmail, choosing the account that you are going to connect with as you can see right in front of you. Here it goes, maybe next time and choosing the store that you want to work with. Let's do that real quick. Here I am and everything will be ready to go. So now I only need to connect to my store and there i am so to connect to modelist through your shopify app you can go through apps here we go and then this will be shown to you in here so click on our recommended apps and this window will be opened click on app shopify store which is in the bottom of this page as you can see here so let's click on it and then they will be directing us to the marketplace of uh, the shopify now simply just search for Modelist and here it is. So now we have two ways of adding them together. So the first way either by clicking on here and get Modelist app. The same thing, they will take us to this page or you can search to it into from Shopify into Modelist. So let's click on install and here we have it. Let's wait a little bit more. And it can take a lot of time, but it will be very, very fast for you. So here we're going to click on install app. And let's wait. And there we have it. So now, as you can see, we have to create an account or log into our existing, already existing account. So I will just log into my, uh, to create an account very quick. So here I'm going to put uh, my email, here a uh, password. And here, business name. So, Titan LTD, where are most of your customers located? For example, the United States. Um, let's do that. And let's go. So, I think now it will work. The email has been already registered. So, for those who doesn't know, this is how basically you can create an account. So, now I just create my account and log into Intuit, and I'll be right back. And here I am now, guys, after I have logged in. So now simply I should add the store name. It's going to be something like Hello or Titan Tutorial. And then click on Next. Connecting store, as you can see. We are connecting your store and has been done successfully. So it's like that. We have connected our store. And here it is, as you can see, Titan Tutorial. We connected successfully now to... Uh, our Shopify. So Shopify and, and Modelist are now integrated together. To find Modelist in your Shopify now all you need to do is to click either on your app so you can go to apps here and by then you will have to watch in the middle of your page you will find it here and you will be redirected to the dashboard of Modelist anyway. So as you can see here. Now there is a bunch of options that you have to make sure that they are working. The first option, which is adjust the pricing rules. Basically, now we are using Modelist for dropshipping. Well, basically, you have to make sure that the pricing rules are going to fit your required uh, desires. As an example, let me explain that to you. So, let's say that this, let's find an item first. Let's go to AliExpress and let's find an item real quick. So, now I am on AliExpress. 
and let's say that I liked um, this mobile or anything here let's refresh so we can find something that is very nice okay let's say that we have found this uh, smart watch okay let's click on it here we go and as you can see it is being sold for I don't know what is this let me just fix it to United States and there we have it or let's keep it as it is let me just change that to dollar and as you can see this is the price of this product so it is 4.5 now basically the pricing rules what it means is the person who is selling it it says for 4.5 and this is where it comes the, the this, this number from so basically the, the price that we are going to sell it is for example 4.5 times 1.6 so we're going to set for 7.2 dollars so we have a margin of two three dollars as uh not fully three dollars 2.3 uh, yeah it's gonna be 2.3 i guess or something like that but basically it's gonna be this is your margin so 7.2 minus 4.5 it's gonna be 2.7 so it's gonna be 2.7 is your benefits that you're going to get so you can play on it you can uh, make it as uh, two you can make it tripled the price you can even add it as a markup so for example you're not going to multiply it and let's say that the person is selling it for four dollars you're just going to add five dollars anyway at the top of it so this is how it works you have to put these rules for both uh, print on demand and the price of the ready to go items ready to sell products so this is the most important thing to put in mind you can even uh, make sure to choose that in every brand you choose so depending on the brand you can make sure that uh, the brands uh, uh, pricing rules varies for example aliexpress prices are pretty much cheap than others so you can make the pricing that you are selling it for pretty much higher than the other brands and so go on and you can also import product directly to your website on uh, Shopify just by clicking on my products. And here you can search for two kind of products, ready to sell products or find print on demand product. So let's go with ready to sell products. And here you'll find a bunch of products that you can literally just import, as you can see. And then go to import list, you can add it to store. Then synchronize list, you will find it here. You can click on these three buttons. And you can view product details in case you would like. Or you can just wait a little bit until it is fully transferred to your website. And then you can click here to view it. It will literally show you how to view it inside of your Shopify store. And yeah guys, that was it for today's video. This is how you can connect Modelist with Shopify store in 2023. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.